The Samsung Galaxy S rocketed Samsung to success, but with mobile phone technology constantly evolving, it was only going to be a matter of time before it had to make way for something better. In this case, it's the Samsung Galaxy S2, which, as the name suggests, is the next generation smartphone in the Galaxy range. But does it do its predecessor proud? To be honest, we're not too sure if we like the Galaxy S2's new look. While it's super thin at 8.5mm thick and really light at 116 grams, which you certainly can't complain about, the back panel looks a little cheap with a textured plastic battery cover. It's really flimsy too, which doesn't portray the premium smartphone feel we thought Samsung would go for, and in this case we much prefer the original Galaxy S looks-wise. The display has also had a size upgrade to 4.3 inches, but the slimline design prevents it from the monster in your pocket status. The front panel is extremely neat as well, with the two touch-sensitive navigation keys and central home button making a welcome return. The beauty in this handset really lies within the screen technology, as the Samsung Galaxy S2 is kitted out with a Super AMOLED Plus job, so Vision fans are in for a treat. The overall quality of the display is amazing and the colours really shine through. Android 2.3 heads up the operational sides of things and is coupled with Samsung's own TouchWiz user interface which is really easy to navigate. The display is made out of Gorilla Glass so it's always going to be kept in top notch condition and as usual you've got your seven home screens on offer which you can customise with both Android and Samsung widgets. You'll also have access to the various Samsung hubs that the S2 has to offer, so you can download games, music, ebooks, and magazines directly to your handset. The biggest treat here is the 1.2 GHz dual core processor, so lightning speed transitions come as standard. The processor really comes into its own in the browser as flash content, pictures, and text load up with ease. Of course, the Galaxy S2 has both 3G and Wi-Fi capabilities on board, and Samsung has also incorporated this new gyroscope feature onto the handset, which is a great alternative to pinch to zoom. Simply placing your thumbs on the display and tilting the handset back and forth zooms in and out of web pages, and the dual-core processor makes this look effortless. The Samsung Galaxy S2 is a front-facing 2-megapixel camera and an 8-megapixel offering with loads of snap-happy extras. It has an LED flash, autofocus, plus shoot settings like anti-shake, blink detection and geotagging. The rear-facing camera can also shoot HD video and you can watch back movies on the S2 in 1080p. The Galaxy S2 is available in both 16GB and 32GB models and also has a micro SD card slot that can support cards up to 32GB so there's plenty of storage space on offer for all your media. We know that the Galaxy S is a great phone but the Samsung Galaxy S2 is even better. Samsung has made improvements in all the right places and that Super AMOLED Plus display really is to die for. Although we prefer the original Galaxy S's look, Samsung has proved that what's inside really does count. You can read the full review at the Dynaphone blog.